Hi, it's Dustin. And Elizabeth. With the Toy Hoarder, we have the Assassin's Creed Odyssey Spartan Collector's Edition from Ubisoft. It's number 3,468 of 8,210. This came out in November of 2018. I ordered it directly from Ubisoft, but due to some uh, postal shenanigans, we've got it now to open. So we're going to jump right on into opening it up for you. You can open it. I love unboxings, guys. All right, we need to get this tape off. This is this is a really tall box. I feel like I probably should have stood up to do yeah, this. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to cut you. Uh-huh. <laughs> you say that. All right. Okay, good. We can tip it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, I peeked a little bit. Sorry, guys. Look. Look. So the very first thing that's going to come out is going to be your copy of the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's going to be the gold edition, so you're gonna get all the season pass, all the additional content at no extra cost because you've already spent over a hundred dollars. Guys, you can hang it on the wall in this thing. That's how you can <laughs> store all your video games. That'd be so awesome. Note that this is from the Ubisoft store. You can also make a little stand on that, like a photo frame, that would be cool. Oop. It's not actually as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Oop. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and scan it up. Get a good look. Put it really close. Really close. Careful there. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's heavy, guys. Like, it's lighter than I was expecting it to be, but it's also still fairly heavy. Ready? Boom. All right. Are we right side up? Oh, that would be kind of funny. I want to see. I want to see. Okay, this is going to be awesome because we actually get to put something together. As you can see over here, we do have Cassandra from the Collector's Edition. I ended up buying from a local GameStop and a little Alexios. I ended up buying another Collector's Edition from GameStop because this hadn't shown up. We get to build little brother Alexios. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, There's magnet sides on here. Is this a drawer? That is a drawer. <gasps> um, we've this got some drawer. additional content to, to do. Surprise items. The game's soundtrack. On a CD. There oh, are 21 this is different songs on here. An art book with different images from production. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo Pizzuli from Ubisoft Quebec. It's autographed on the back and it's of Athens. It's a really breathtaking lithograph of Athens. And oh, this is my favorite part of collector's editions. I absolutely adore maps, love them so much. So here, here we have a map of Mediterranean Greece, uh, around 436 uh, before Common Era. Love maps. Oh, look, there's some shipwrecks in here. We got a dolphin, possibly shark over here. Oh, there's a shark, Jaws type shark. We got there's some whale, whale tails. A couple of full boats that haven't shipwrecked yet. Apollo. Oh, there's two ships fighting. I always like the ones that are in the water, but there are a lot of little details on land so as well. So here's Laconia, which is where Sparta is. In case you want to kick anyone off a mountain. Oh, I thought we threw them in pits. Oh, same thing. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little pop things. And you got tape and on the tape. sides. There's one on the top and two on each of the sides. <laughs> All right, so we'll start. Let's uh, take a look at what we've got here. We've got uh, an awesome spear form. The weapons are super lightweight, you guys. Really, really, really lightweight. I cannot remember what kind of sword this is for him. But we do have a sword for him. A little bendable, but I wouldn't bend it too much. It's not meant to be done. And then this here... We've got Leonidas's spear. It says love like granddad's weapon. The first thing I want to point out is your base does come apart, but you really want to try not to have to take it apart. There was another collector's edition that sold out within a very brief amount of time. It was the Pantheon collector's edition. That collector's edition was the same thing, except it included a guard that would come right here. It was, I believe it was an Athenian guard. The guard that it came with plugged in flush to the front. It showed Alexios essentially engaging in combat in the same style that you would in, within the game. Overall, I'm really impressed with this. I like the level of detail on the shield and on him. His helmet is de very detailed in fra on the fringe. Um, you can tell that it's supposed to be hair. It's not just a solid piece of plastic. Cloak is 
frayed and fringed. You have different levels of detail on the bits of armor that he has on. It's very hodgepodge, which is how your armor is going to be in the game until you get up there in the levels and start equipping the legendary items. I like that the spear is double-ended. Another fun thing, he's got a bow and quiver on his back. He's got a Spartan shield down here. I think it's a very well detailed. I like the pillar. I like the ground. I like the artwork. It's really great. He has textured scars on his body, you guys. These three on the back of his arm are actually fully textured and you can see that there's textured too. muscles and veins in here, guys. This is an epic action pose with a ton of detail. It's a pretty incredible collector's piece that you can still sort of play with with other toys. You'd be a little careful because he's probably fairly breakable, and especially these weapons are pretty bendy if you're going to play with it, but yeah, does definitely, he come off of He his, does not does? come okay. off of his base. I mean, the base comes off of itself, but... But it's won't. kind of epic to have him jumping into any other toys that you have. Let's put her next to it. This is awesome. Um, She's so short. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, his shield, bow and arrow, and arrows are not removable. There are actually eyes on this snake on the top of the sword and on the bird. He's got actual little rivets inside all of the creases of his armor. This is pretty intense, you guys. I like the detail on his gauntlet. I can see some actual Lasers. textured fabric. details inside of this fabric. Detail of what the fabric is made out of. It's really impressive, wow. This has gotta be one of the most detailed statuettes that I've gotten. I'm just super impressed with it. Yeah, I thought she was nice, but this blows her away. Not even <laughs> blows her away. And I feel bad saying that because I honestly prefer playing as Cassandra. Um, I know a lot of the development history as to why Lexios even exists as a playable character, so my preference leans towards Cassandra. I wish Cassandra was as detailed as this guy was. 16 inches tall, 14 inches from his furthest point forward to his furthest point back. Can we call that his spear. wingspan because of this action pose? <laughs> Comparing the two, something I find interesting is the spear scales differently for Cassandra than it does for Alexios. It is much shorter for Alexios, the Spear of Leonidas, that is. She is much smaller in scale than him, but their spears are about the same length. They're, they are not the same texture model. If you look at them both, the spears are about the same length, but the, like, the scaling is different. Cassandra's much lower detail. I still love her. Does her base come apart right here? No, it does not. I do love that Cassandra comes with Icarus. Um, Alexios doesn't, and Icarus is, uh, Icarus is very pivotal to the character and his title of the Eagle Bear. He is equipped with a bow that is shaped like a cobra. It has a, a very Jafar-esque staff. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, it's heart-shaped. That's really Diamond cheesy. Shape. Right up in there so you can see oh, that. She has it too. Is hers mm -hmm. snake-shaped? Oh, yeah. that's cool. It's not as detailed. But there we go. Okay. Even her texture, her she is very, very, very smooth everywhere. Looks like she was made out of clay, whereas he has textures even in his skin. Okay, this is cool too. So his bowstring is actually elastic. Uh -huh. Which you know his arrows are stuck in there. Aww. But uh that's fun that his bowstring is elastic. I wish the bow came off so that you could have it in his off hand or in his main hand. He will definitely hold his sword as well. I, I love this guy so much. I wish you um, could swap weapons between Cassandra and Alexius. That would be awesome. They actually have, except for this spear, all of the same weapons. They have the same bow, she has the same sword, oh, and then she has the spear of Leonidas. The outfit she is in is the Pilgrim's outfit, if I remember correctly. I'm not exactly sure which armor Alexios is wearing, though. If I, uh, if you do know which armor he's wearing, feel free to mention that in the comments. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is coming out soon, as well as Far Cry 6. I believe. So we've got a couple new Ubisoft games coming out. And of course they always have the best collector's editions when it comes to the awesome content they throw in the box. Things I would have done differently. If you do have his spear in his hand or his sword in his hand, you really don't have any place to keep the spear. There's no place really stable except for maybe this position right here. I wish he was detachable from the actual pillar. I love the level of detail from the, sh the, the, the rocks and the the brick on the stonework to the pillar and it's aging, the Spartan shield, the details on his gauntlet, the details on the little pieces of leather on his back 
I mean, it, it's so detailed and I love it so much. The face has a Actually, nice sculpt as well. Does the helmet come off? It does not. I, I, I've been looking at that because of the way the ear sits there, but unfortunately it doesn't. Cons, it's expensive. It was $159. Part of it that makes it great though is the exclusivity of it. They only made 8,000 of these and it, it, it's nice to support a studio who makes the games that I love so much. Hint, hint at... Bioware and Mass Effect. Please, please, please. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you feel like you're not getting enough notifications about the channel, you can always click the bell and it will send you notifications to your mobile device and your email whenever we put a new video out. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.